Yeah, hello. Let us discuss about the 12 Agile uh, principles. The first principle says that our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software. So if you are aware of waterfall models, it is about the a big bang release at the end of the project the project is divided into requirement phase design phase coding phase testing phase and then uh, delivery kind of thing and the customer will get to know about the product only after the final delivery whereas in agile at the end of every sprint or every at the end of every iteration uh, we have a shippable code uh, which can be demonstrated uh, to the customer. So uh, here, at least a, a, a series of sp iterations will end up in a release. So in all Agile teams uh, are geared up for early and continuous delivery of valuable software to the client. That is one fundamental positive change when compared to waterfall. The client need not wait till the end of the project to start to start to see what he's going to get. Here uh, we are talking about early and continuous delivery. The second principle is we welcome changing requirements even late in the development. Agile processes harness change for the customer's competitive advantage. So many project teams especially in waterfall they see change as a as an issue uh, change as a problem uh, whereas in agile uh, the agile models help you to embrace uh, change uh, because uh, in agile we welcome changes even very late in the project because if you the the if you really look at the root cause of changes uh, sometimes it is a very positive risk like you have a very committed product owner who always thinks about the product so that's why a lot of changes are coming so agile talks about partnership with the client so and we welcome uh, changes even very late in the uh, project but then it is not free for all uh, it's all bound by uh, a certain uh, lightweight uh, guidelines or principles so the first process the first value or principle was early and continuous delivery and the second principle talks about the agile teams welcome changing requirements even late in development uh, the third principle is we deliver working software frequently from a couple of weeks to a couple of months with preference to shorter time scale uh, in the Agile framework, especially Scrum, talks about uh, the maximum sprint duration of 30 days. And at the end of 30 days, there is a sprint review where you demonstrate uh, the features which you have done. So Agile, one of one key principle of Agile is we deliver working software frequently. And the next principle is we, the business people and the developers must work together daily throughout the project. Uh, so product owner is the custodian uh, or the representative of the customer and the product owner and the development team. Uh, if possible, they are co-located uh, or at least, okay, they should be able to work very closely. Uh, and the product owner who is the representative of the customer and the development team work as a cohesive unit and deliver valuable software uh, at the end of the iteration. Uh, we build projects around motivated individuals, give them the environment and the support they need and trust them to get the job done. So if you, if you really want to appreciate the statement, uh, if you negate the term motivated individuals, can we ever have a successful projects around demotivated individuals? That is very difficult. So one of the entry criteria to be part of agile teams is 
uh, is that okay you must be motivated uh, about and enthusiastic about the project otherwise yeah this is an integrated area yeah. this is not something the project will do to you uh, you must be motivated we need to take only motivated people into the team uh, and give them an environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done because one of the key things about the agile agile is work volunteering there is no work allocation so if people are not motivated they will not be able to uh, really operate in a in a self organizing in self organizing teams where people go and where people contribute heavily based on their own initiatives so this is mandatory uh, each and every member of the team must be motivated uh, before getting into the agile teams because we cannot operate with demotivated people and we cannot trust demotivated people so this is a key thing the next principle is uh, the most effective method of conveying information to and within development team is face-to-face -face conversation. Uh, when we talk face-to-face, -face, the communication becomes more effective than a written communication or just a voice over telephone. If we have a face-to-face -face contact, then uh, the communication, because the, through the body language also, we communicate quite a lot so face to communication is always better uh, than just voice or a text so in agile it is implemented in the form of uh, planning meetings and daily stand-ups where people see face to face and then communicate things uh, across them uh, we believe in working software uh, working software is the primary measure of progress nothing else because yeah, status reports fine, but then uh, I believe every agile team member believe in working software uh, as the primary measure of progress. Agile processes promote sustainable development. The sponsors, the developers, and users should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely. So what it says, uh, it talks about uh, eight-hour working days. Uh, people come to the office and work for eight hours, when I say effective eight hours, and then get out and then they have enough time to relax and sleep for eight hours and come back again with uh, energy and enthusiasm. Uh, because if you work uh, for 14 hours, 15 hours per day, in agile teams people can get burnt out very easily because every iteration end is more like a project end. Uh, so people need time to, you know, they need a, 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 they need better work-life balance. Uh, otherwise, they can get burnt out very easily. Uh, then continuous attention to technical excellence and good design enhances agility. Now. There is no design phase in uh, in the agile. Uh, the design gets incremented uh, iteration after iteration. So unless we have a good design which is extendable, then as it will negatively affect uh, agility. Uh, so yes, the low level design gets incremented sprint after sprint or iteration after iteration. At the same time, uh, the, the structure must be available uh, and it must be extendable as well. Then simplicity, the art of maximizing the amount of unwanted work not done is essential. So agile teams always look for uh, eliminating unwanted non-value adding work. One example could be uh, if nobody is using a 500 page software requirement specification while coding, then we don't need it at the time of coding. Uh, so we may we may try to operate through uh, an architectural document and coding standards and user stories, uh, uh, whereas we don't need uh, that bulky document which nobody uses. Uh, but if everybody is somebody is using it and if it is really adding value to the coding phase, yes, perfectly okay. But if it is not adding value, then we need to rethink about it. 
The best architectures, requirements, and designs emerge from self-organizing team. So this is something, this is the heart of uh, the agility. Uh, so it is all about self-organizing team. Uh, the, the product owner will explain uh, what he wants and how to do it is, is how to do stuff okay that evolves from the self-organizing teams so nobody is going to tell them a, a particular path uh, so they have to collectively decide how they are going to deliver so if you are so used to command and control style uh, we may have to you know slightly unlearn and relearn uh, to work uh, in self-organizing teams at regular intervals the team reflects on how to become more effective then tunes and adjusts his behavior accordingly so at the end of every sprint or iteration there is a retrospective where the team reflects on what are the right things we did what are the wrong things we did how can we improve further so uh, and and those corrective actions uh, or improvement actions gets implemented into the subsequent iteration. So in waterfall, generally this is done at the end of the project. Uh, whereas here, this happens at the end of every sprint, means at the end of every 30 days max. Uh, and the learning has to be pumped back into the next uh, iteration. So. Uh, the key thing about Agile is uh, it is value prin and principle-based rather than rule-based. Uh, so anything value or principle-based is, is easy to understand but difficult to practice because our value systems must, must change to embrace uh, agility. Uh, all, if you have gone through this, uh, I would love to get your feedback. So please post your uh, feedback as comments um, about the Agile principles. What do you think? Uh, so just post it as comments at the end of uh, this uh, video. The manuscript for this is given in the description. So description of the video, which is below this video, so which you can see time and again. Thank you very much.